Hi guys, welcome to the Saving Money Show with me, your host Sean. Well, today we're starting with Palantir and moving on to a few other companies. But we have they have their announcement day today, and I expect them to announce a gov another government contract for PCMS contract, which from the first of April and response from the tenth of April. Uh, if What's on the government website is correct, because the only one who seems specialised enough to fulfil that is Palantir, in my opinion. Could be wrong, I have been in the past, but uh, it seems like they're waiting until today to uh, announce it, which makes sense. Uh, I have said in past videos how the Pentagon have released a paper stating that AI and data on the battlefield will be pivotal and be a $16 trillion marketplace, which bodes well for Palantir. Uh, and we'll have to wait and see what else. CRISPR, therapeutics. Sorry about this. We all know about CRISPR, the gene editing tool. Seems to have been stagnant and 120. Uh, I bought in at 120 last time, rode it up, sold at 180. So I didn't sell at the top, but near enough. And the thing is, they presented data of a new update called the on off CRISPR tool. Which is actually more exciting than it seems. Basically, what they do is they're able to switch the laser uh, focusing editing tool on or off so that it, it doesn't impact the whole gene, just a tiny part of the team, gene, sorry and it is more accurate and then if you don't want the same uh, kinds of genes always to be edited it could be switched off they at the same time if a mistake has been made or if it hasn't worked the way it wants to it is reversible now which takes out a majority of the risk that was involved with gene editing. This is a huge step forward, gene editing. This was one of the main risks with gene editing. And granted, when you look at statistics, enterprise value versus market cap, and price to sales, price to book, fundamentally it doesn't look good, but financials when you look at the it's operating at a loss yes so it doesn't look good but you look at the cash on hand compared to the liabilities 163 million total liabilities versus 1.1 billion now the total liabilities and stockholder Equity is 1.8 billion. So I do expect this to move. Uh, once people digest this, I think Kathy would pick up more of this. I will be picking up more of this. I'll be adding a high, I will be rebalancing my uh, gene. ETF to include more of this and higher percentage and I will uh, be adding this to my growth stock as well a ETF uh, I'm excited about this I did spend time studying stem cells and gene editing short cell and long cell reporting uh, I'm not going to spend more time on that, sorry. 
don't forget to hit that lovely like button and don't forget the sexy subscribe button a lot sexier than me just ask the wife and if you want to be a hero hit the bell notification you'll be notified when a new video gets uploaded and why not check out the links in the description below if you're looking for a free trading platform you get a free share with up to 200 pounds dollars depending on the platform you use if you deposit a small amount now re we spoke about this months ago you remember the video about a person on the skateboard uh, driving it around with the little playstation controller <coughs> which could bring a new like uh racing thing where people put a roll cage on top of a skateboard and just go around with a controller but heard it here first lads they sign a strategic collaboration agreement with magna now the marking in fully modular evs powered by re why is this so important well magna have a partnership with fisker for their suv they are also rumored to be uh, being talks with apple for their car although nothing uh, has been uh, confirmed yet so for this you need ticker symbol vcbc remember they also have 250,000 pre-orders already re which are confirmed now see see this bit here where it says uh, growing demand from leading tech companies you know uh, which makes me think again uh, of Apple but it could be me grasping at straws uh, people who have gone through the spec deal between VCVC and RE have said well Re's not worth it it's not producing it well it is producing but it's not bringing in the money but it's different from the likes of uh lordstown and churchill and fisker with the way that their uh pre-orders they have to pay f for the confirmation you know no and they don't get caught up in the aesthetics of the vehicle like with tesla for instance oh there's an issue with the seating there's an issue with the airbag there's an issue with the doors no they just do the skateboard the powertrain and it, they can get a lot more orders from companies remember cars are going to explode purely on the basis that all the car factories a lot of the car factories are shutting down ford f-150 have shut down all but one of their factories and that factory is just churning out f-150s waiting for the semiconductor chips to be put in uh, at the back and I, this is a spec that's near the floor it is at the floor let's, let's double check uh, we go yeah it's all about waiting ten dollars six cents so your downside is six cents your upside it's just whatever think about the companies that have been tied with apple in the past where they've gone and talk about one with no downside before spring valley is a golden unicorn in my opinion i've spoke about it and it's the best one for vertical farming it only has one at the moment in new jersey it's profitable bringing in money look at that, ten dollars how can you argue that aero farms it's an ev energy play it's it's a, a 
food play, the, you know, renewable play. It's just so many plays here. And uh, we, we also have to look at the fact that Bezos uh, and Gates and all these billionaires are buying up thousands of acres of farmland in the US. That's all for today. I'll see you in the next video.